All right, welcome back to the channel. So Jermel Charlo goes in on Demetrius Andrade for ducking their fight and says that the reason that Jermel, uh, that Demetrius Andrade isn't fighting Jamal Charlo is Eddie Hearn and the fact that they are trying to protect his chin. Let's talk about that in this video. All right, welcome back to the channel. So this weekend, we had a fight that took place between Demetrius Boo Boo Andrade and Liam Williams for uh, Demetrius Andrade's 160-pound WBO championship. The fight went pretty much as I thought. It was a mismatch from the beginning to the end. Pretty much Demetrius Andre just, Andrade just hit him whenever he wanted to. Liam Williams just walked forward, taking a bunch of shots. And, you know, just before I get into the meat of this, of, you know, of this video, I got to make a comment about that. Look, I'm not going to say that I know anything for sure about uh, Liam Williams. However, you know, watching boxing for a long time, knowing that there's been a lot of steroid abuse in the sport of boxing, the only way that I can make sense of Liam Williams taking that much punishment, never getting tired, and just continuing to plod forward, grab, you know, and try to mug is that that dude was juicing. Like, I, you know, maybe he wasn't. I'm sure he tested positive or negative on all of his tests or whatever. But just the eye test for me and the fact that he took so much punishment but just kept lunging forward. He never got tired. It's like, come on, man. You can't tell me that you're doing extra stuff on the road and extra stuff in the gym that Demetrius Andrade's not doing that's going to make you have that much more endurance than everybody else. It was just absolutely, in my opinion, it was clear that this dude, at least it, I, looking at him made me believe or made me suspect that Liam Williams was just on steroids. And that's why when people were interviewing uh, Demetrius Andrade about the fight, they kept talking about how tough he is, how tough he is. You know, you know, he's really tough. He can take a lot of punishment. He's a really tough guy. Yeah, man, you know, people can be a little bit tougher when they're juiced up. And got all kind of muscle piled on top of him, but how? But somehow, despite all, despite being heavily muscled, you never get tired, no matter how many shots you take to the body and uppercuts you take to the head. But that aside, you know, whatever, man. On that, uh, Lee, uh, Liam Williams couldn't do anything with Demetrius Andrade. He could beat him in his sleep, and I'm telling you, if it wasn't for the con the, the conditioning of Liam Williams. He would have been out of there in four or five rounds, dude. He would have gassed and continued to take a bunch of shots. Uh, Demetrius Andrade could have opened up on him. But, you know, conditioning, you know, modern day conditioning has guys just being able to go and go and go and go no matter how many times they get hit, man. It's pretty amazing. Regardless, the fight went just like I thought it was going to go. Uh, Liam Williams is a is a domestic level fighter in the UK. And as a result, he was getting hit with everything but the kitchen sink. And the only good work that he had was when uh, Demetrius Andre had, had to take a breath. And Liam Williams didn't need a breath. So, you know what I mean? Demetrius Andre has to take a certain amount of time off, you know, to rest. Because it all looks like it's going to go the go the full distance. So he's resting. Meantime, you know, the engine that is Liam Williams just keeps going and going and going. Like he has a never-ending source of energy, Right. But, you know, we don't see that in the sport of boxing. The most interesting thing that took place after the fight, though, was, as usual, they were like, well, what's the next fight that's going to take place? Demetrius Andrade called out, uh, called out Jamal Charlo, and I think he also might have mentioned Gennady Golovkin. And what was probably the strangest, the strangest, um, <laughs> I like Demetrius Andrade, but he's just, a, he's just a different type of guy, man. He was like, riggedy, 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 riggedy. It's like, well, I, I don't even know what that means. However, I think that's probably a rap song where they're like, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. But he calls out Jamal Charlo. And so, you know, that fight went just like we thought it would. Now, entering into the fray, though, is the ever, is the forever upset Jamel Charlo. Dude, I don't think I've seen Jamel Charlo sound happy two, three times in my life. Maybe like right after a fight, he's a little bit happy. But after that, he gets right back on the grind and is just as confrontational and irritable <laughs> as he was five minutes before. But he actually has a really good insight on 
the Demetrius Andrade Charlo fight, and one that's a little bit different than what I that we usually talk about. It's all everybody should know by now what the main holdup between a Demetrius Andrade fight with either one of the Charlos is, and it's pretty much the past doings of Demetrius Andrade. Demetrius Andrade was supposed to fight Jamel Charlo, but he pulled out in the last week, right? So what is Jamel Charlo? So when Jamel talks about the Jamal Charlo and Andrade fight, he's like, look, dude, they're not really trying to make this fight because number one, you know full well that Eddie Hearn is not gonna is not gonna go by what the demands of Al Heyman. So Jamel is saying, like, look, you guys can talk all you want, but Al, but Eddie Hearn ain't really trying to make a fight between Jamal Charlo and Demetrius Andrade. And he said and the reason that he thinks that is is because they're trying to, you know, trying to save that weak chin is what he said. Now, I've heard uh, different fighters that have been in the gym make predictions about how they thought that, that the Jamal Charlo versus Demetrius Andrade fight would go. And several of the discussions went like this, that they believe that uh, Demetrius Andrade is a very, very good boxer and he will probably win several of the earlier rounds. But it eventually, Jamel Charlo is going to wind up, Jamal Charlo is going to wind up catching him and knocking him out. So I don't know if they know something about Demetrius Andrade's chin that I haven't seen. Because quite honestly, dog, I, I've not seen that in Demetrius Andrade. I've seen Demetrius Andrade take a couple clean shots this weekend and it didn't really seem like it did you know, too much to him. But... At the same time, I will say that in watching Demetrius this weekend, I do think that I would be even more in favor of Jamal Charlo in that fight in the in the fashion that they that they mentioned. Because you see that Demetrius Andrade sometimes just leans back. He leans back or he pulls back straight. And I think that that particular move will definitely get caught by Jamal Charlo, and I do believe that he'll get hit on the end of a straight right hand by Jamal because that was what was open for Liam Smith as as Demetrius Andre kind of you know tired a little bit right in the later rounds, and also that you know Jamal um, Demetrius does some man he's really really nice man that dude is really really nice especially how when he's on the ropes he ducks out to his left like and a couple times I thought that he got hit. But he really didn't get hit. He just kind of dipped low because he dips low to get out to his left off the ropes or he'll dip out to the right. But Demetrius Andrade has, I don't know if it was he didn't really respect um, Liam's, uh, Liam Williams' speed or what it was. But, you know, this was a southpaw and orthodox matchup. And I'm telling you, Demetrius Andre was moving to the right hand of, of um, Liam Williams pretty much the whole fight. And Liam Williams just didn't have the hand speed to get him. But I don't think that you're going to be able to take that route against a Jamal Charlo because Jamal is going to hit you with that straight right. And that straight right is going to have something is going to have something on it. You know what I mean? I don't really believe that that he would be able to pot shot on Jamal like that. But it was pot shot city with pot shot city with Liam Walsh. I just hope that the fight gets made. But after watching that, I mean, Demetrius Andre, I think he's going to have a hard time with those Charlos. Um, it, because really, dude, they're fighting better opposition. They have fought better opposition and have been in tougher fights. Like even the 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 Sergey Devorinchenko fight with Jamal Charlo, man, that showed a lot of wrinkles that Jamal Charlo has in his game, man. And the one with Matt Korobov. So I don't even I don't really know if Demetrius Andre has fought that level of fighter lately, and I think that that might get on him. But I hope at the end of the day that everything can be worked out and these guys can fight. Because Demetrius Andrade is a terrific fighter. Jamal Charles is a terrific fighter. And I hate that all of this stuff about, you know, the in the past where Jamel Charlo lost that money, pulled out of the fight that week. I understand, man. But now you got three of the belts, dude. You Everything is how it's supposed to be for you. Um, you know, kind of let it go, man. And let's see these fights get on. But anyway, that's my take on the matter. You let me know yours. And with that, I'm out. Peace.